Colorado Buffaloes played the Colorado State Rams tonight at the Rocky Mountain Showdown in Denver. And this one was all buffs, and it was all buffs early. In the first half, the buffs absolutely obliterated the Rams, starting with the first drive of the game. Seppo in a shotgun again, goal line. Seppo plunges right up the middle. He's got the end zone. Does he have it? All it's a fumble. It's a fumble. It looks like the Rams have it in the end zone. Ball is being fought for. Seppo lost that ball in the end zone. They're going to mark him down. Colorado believes they have it, and they do. And that's going to be a touchdown. Seppo Lufo picks up the first touchdown on the year for the Buffs, I believe. Buffs lead 6 0 here. Center Alex Kelly recovered that ball in the end zone for a touchdown, capping an 11 play, 73 yard drive that took all of three minutes. And after another CSU punt, the Buffs were driving again. Seppo on a shotgun again, uh, running back to his left. He's going to fake a handoff to him, go to the left side on a screen pass. Kevin Ross has got the end zone, the byline, the touchdown! Touchdown, Colorado! Kevin Ross with that TD from Seppo Lufau made it 14 to nothing, capping a six place, 70 yard drive with 156 time eaten on that. And after a fumble and a punt and a couple plays back and forth, the Buffs were at it once again. Uh, 13 minutes into this one, Seppo Lufau on a shotgun, Phil Lindsay to his right, drops back, looks deep. He's got Shea Fields wide open on the 20, the 10. He's gonna break a tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado! 21 nothing Bucks. After the beautiful catch from Shea Fields that amounted for 60 yards. The Buffs had the ball at first and goal and were able to punch it in with a Philip Lindsay touchdown, just a one yard run, making it 21 nothing. And really it was all but over from there. Another fumble by the Rams and a field goal by the Buffs made it 24 to nothing, entering another CU drive down the field. But he was targeted way more than that. Seppo again in the shotgun. Rams showed blitz, maybe jumped off sides. Free play for Seppo Lufau, looks deep. He's got Bryce Bobo down on the near sidelines. And a one-handed catch by Bobo on the one-yard line. What a catch by Bryce Bobo. Seppo Lupo had the free play and nailed Bryce Bobo on the near sideline. After that beautiful pass from Seppo Lufau to Bryce Bobo, who made an amazing one-handed catch, Philip Lindsay punched it in for a one-yard run, making the score 31 to nothing buffs. And really, like I said, it was all but over even before this, and the buffs just kept tacking on. Calming the troops, breaking the huddle. They come out in a shotgun. Two wide receivers to the right, two to the left. Steve Scott, Dalen Dawkins to the right. Buffs showing blitz. Fourth and eight on the 37. Stevens marks up the command. Here comes the snap. Stevens looks to the right. Blitz coming. Stevens throws it off over the middle. Picked off by Tedder Thompson. Buffs with another turnover. Tedder Thompson's got a gang in front of him. Gets it to the CU 35. And the Buffs all but seal this one in my opinion. After two consecutive field goals in the third quarter, the Buffs made it 37 to nothing. The Rams did tack on a touchdown, but the Buffs were back at it again in the fourth. 4.30 left on the play or game clock, five seconds left on the play clock. Lufau hands off to Evans. Evans is gonna go over the top and he scores! Touchdown, Colorado! This one is all but over. 44-7 pending the extra point, and Kyle Evans earned a scholarship this year earned that touchdown. What a great story for the Colorado Buffaloes. Kyle Evans would score the final points of the night, making it 44 to seven buffs as they won the Rocky Mountain Showdown and the Centennial Cup here in Denver. Jake Shapiro for BSN Denver.